Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the tiny house today, having my coffee with all of you, watching my beautiful chickens, and yeah, I got the hoodie on again because it's a little bit cold, but it's going to warm up, so that's a good thing. You notice my new hat? Yup, I got another new hat. A company called Super Clean reached out to me and asked if I would test some of their products, and I actually need to do some cleaning today big time because... After organizing everything and everything was just kind of stacked up on top of my kitchen surfaces and whatnot, uh, yeah, there needs to be some cleaning done. And the cooktop, my little propane stove, that needs to be cleaned. And it's kind of greasy, so I'm really happy. They've sent me, well, this kind of can, and it cuts up grease, which is great. Super clean, dissolves, dissolves grease super easy, super fast, so I'm going to give that a try. They also sent me, look at this, let me get it over here, tire cleaner, and my tires, they need to be clean, so I'm going to give this a try as well, and they also sent me this version of the degreaser, it's just a little spray bottle, so I'm going to give them all a try and see how I like them. Just look at me, I think I look pretty amazing. I'm a super clean camo lady. The first thing I want to do is this beautiful tray that my mom gave to me. I've been storing eggshells to dry out on them. You can see over here there's a dried egg. This is disgusting. So I'm just going to kind of spray this down a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's already starting to come off. Let's spray this over here. Oh, it is just dissolving away. Oh no, should I let it set for a little while? This is really dirty. You know what? I wish I could say that I let this purposely get dirty just for this purpose, but I'd be lying. Anyhow, let's go ahead and wipe this down and see how it works. Oh my gosh, one swipe, one swipe, and it is completely clean. Look at that. I don't even have to apply any pressure. I need more paper towels, that's for sure. Let's get this little piece of egg over here. Oh, I think that's going to have to sit. I don't know. It's coming off pretty easy. Look at that. Oh, I need to get another paper towel. It cleans off really, really well. Look at this disgusting mess. This is actually kind of dangerous. This could catch on fire. There's all kinds of grease down in the bottom. There's burnt on, crusted on food. So I think I'm going to use the spray foam for this. The instructions are same with this as they are for the other spray cleaner. Uh, you just spray it on and give it time to dissolve whatever it is that needs to dissolve. And then you clean it up. You do not allow it to dry. I think that's enough time. A couple minutes. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, it's bringing it right up. Let's just try the spray bottle. I feel like I have a little bit more control with the spray bottle. I'm just really surprised with how well this cleans off this encrusted gross stuff. And back here where the grease had splattered, that cleans up really easily. And it even takes all that crusty stuff off the grate. Spray it a little bit on, let it sit for a little bit, and it shines it right up. Look at that. I'm going to save using the tire cleaner for all wheel cleaner for another video because I just got brand new tires and they are totally clean. So you can be looking forward to this. There are specific instructions on it. You have to clean one tire at a time, rinse wheel thoroughly with cold water, coat wheel service with super clean, uh, allow foaming action to work for 30 seconds. Um, for extremely dirty wheels, agitate with soft brush or sponge. So I'm going to save that for another video. But these worked great. The degreaser, and I could really use this stuff around this tiny house, so I've got plenty of it now. I like this one the best, just because you've got a little bit more control with that spray. Um, and it just goes on easy, and it cleans up really fast. So this is good stuff. I like it. I recommend it. I'm going to give you a link to their website down in the description box below. They There are certain companies that sell this product on Amazon. I will definitely still put it in my um, Amazon affiliate store, but they do not sell directly on Amazon. I've seen this. I've seen this out. I think you might be able to get it at Walmart. I'll have to double check. Um, I think you can get it at Lowe's maybe. 
um, I'll look into that and I'll put something up and tell you where you can find this as well. But definitely go check out their website. And uh, it's good stuff, man. It is good stuff. Since a lot of you have been asking about my beautiful dog, Judy, the lovely Miss Donna B has been taking care of her while Papa went through his heartworm treatment. He's all finished with that for now. So she's going to bring her back on June 10th. And here's a couple photos of her. Look at her laying in the flower bed right next to it anyhow. And look at this. Oh gosh, that is just so adorable. The pink ball and a little chew toy. I am sure that Judy has been given Donna and her daughter Christina, who has been, they've both been taking care of her um, off and on. She's been giving them a workout. I can't wait to see her. I have officially separated the Leghorns and I put Tyson in there as well. I put one of the other white chickens in there. Uh, not Olive and not Dot. The other one, I think it's that one right there. And she flew out and actually Tyson flew completely out and so I had to capture him. He was trying to free range a little bit. But I just took that piece that was up on the hill and it just so happens, I kind of joined it together in one spot, that it was the perfect size to go all the way across here. So I have a lot of extra chicken wire and um, I think I'm going to be able to, I may use the actual chicken wire that Doreen sent me to cover the top of this coop. I may use deer knitting, I'm not sure. But they're just kind of chilling out in there. And yep, they're going to have their own food and water. I need to get that water out of the sun, though, somehow. Um, I'm going to change that tarp a little bit and give them a little bit more shade. Um, but you know what? This yard, look at that. It's become peaceful. Totally peaceful. Look at that. Roxy's just chilling out over there. I don't know. She may be trying to lay an egg over there. Um... But it's working out great. Now, I don't know if I will make them stay in that coop overnight unless I can fix some things that need to be fixed. But for right now, peace has been restored to this yard. Man, I don't know what it is, but I have been sneezing, not coughing, just sneezing. And I just feel tired and dizzy. And I'm looking over at that yard and I know what else I need to do. But it is blazing hot sun over there right now. But you know what? I have got to got to get that yard finished. I don't want to have to chase the leghorns around again, get them in the yard. That was kind of hard to do. I need to get up and get this done. Look at there. Miss Pris is out in the yard stretching her legs. It's good to see her. Getting a bite to eat. Getting some water. Her comb hasn't totally faded yet, but it will. I threw some grubs and whatnot out there in the yard. So I wonder how long she'll stay off. I got two in the other nesting box, but of course the two leghorns. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah, so we've got an extra one in there somewhere. Let me just get these out. I have a feeling Roxy laid that egg. Yep, she did. Okay, well... It's time for Miss Privets to come back. Well, whenever she wants to. She'll get back in here. It's getting hot. <laughs> I'm taking a rest right now. Everything's fine. I got part of the back covered by, you know, behind the shed and, and the little screen thingy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the rest of it done. I may wait till it the sun starts going down. But right now, I am having some honeysuckle lemonade. I put uh, squeezed half a lemon into it, ice cold water, and I don't know how much of that honeysuckle syrup I used, but um, just until it got sweet, and it is very, very good and refreshing. So I'm just gonna kind of take it easy here for a little bit. I don't feel very good. Um, so I'll show you what I did with the rest of the yard tomorrow. Anyway, I wanted to thank Super Clean for sending me those awesome, awesome cleaning products. They are going to really, really come in handy. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.